bunch of patterns or magnet depends on what you know it as this is the flashback stripped quill version this is on a 10 just make sure that's straight but on the new Hanite H25XH which is from Frantner uh, himself or Unique Flies John Emerson will have these this one's on a 10 just make sure that's tight the thread I'm starting with is UTC in 70 in black let's catch that on take it away away and for the tail this is a Chinese cock neck dyed black I've taken away one of the larger fibres or feathers even from the back of the neck what I'll do is it pull pull them off 90 degrees to your stem take a pinch try not to handle them too much otherwise the tips don't tend to line up the tail is the same length as your hook shank just park your thread in between the point and the bar just trim away your waist now for the flashback this is magic tinsel in brown available from Ian Christie at Plybox. This is the one thirty second of an inch, the smaller of the two sections you get. So I'll do I'll catch this on my side and use the thread to roll it round onto the top. One turn's enough. Now for the strip quill, it's just natural from Vineyards. A little bit of flu on there, pass that away. That's it on my side, full length of the body, keep everything nice and even. Take that flashback tinsel, keeping it on top of the shank as you come round. Two turns. Show that and show the weight. Take your stripped quilt, nice open, even turns as he just makes that one too wide. Go back and reposition it. That's four, five. If it gets a bit fiddly, just make your finger in, thread over the top, trim your waist. Drop your whip finish. Just three to finish that off. Now at this point, trim that away. Come in with your Vineyard Cellia Fine. One or two coats. Probably three, depending on the age of your varnish. So I'll take that away. And you'll end up after three coats. Something like that. Come back in with your UTC black, catch your thread on. Now for the thorax, I've got plain micro struggle dyed black. Just take off a small section, you don't need much. Catch it in, trim away the waist piece, tighten that down. There's one, stroke the smaller fibres back, there's two, and the thread over the top, keep everything tight, trim away the tie in. Now for the hackle, this is a number two Met Hen neck dye black, you can see it's been well used, plenty of usable fibres left in it. I've taken one from about a third of the way up in the neck. This is for a 10. So I've stripped away some of the flu from the stalk. So I'll do it all. Two to secure it. Hold it. Fire the back. A couple of turns. Let's 
coming with your scissors and take away the waste piece and take the feather and just rub it between finger and thumb and all the as you can see all the hackle fibers end up on one side There's one, two is enough, you don't want to overdress it and hide the thorax completely. Just keep it nice and tight, take the waist piece of the hat up away. Now, and take a small split jungle cut. This one's from Sam McGowan in Ireland. Really fairly priced considering some of the prices you see for jungle cock at the minute. It's atrocious, almost highway robbery. So just off your jungle cock up on top and then take your finger and thumb and just guide it around the side. Two turns to Make sure you're happy with it. Come with your scissors, keeping your thread tight. Miss it completely. Just keeping all the hackle fibers out of the way. Come in with your whip finish. One, two, three. There we go. Trim away your waste. Now take your dubbing needle, this one's just a length of carbon fibre with a dub needle on the end, a bit of velcro attached to the end of that. So, just a little bit of varnish, too much even. Just apply that to the head of the fly. the top back on that. You can see the hackles sitting quite vertical. So what we'll do stroke it all back. Just force a little crease into it. You know so it'll sit back a little bit more. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed the tying of the stripped quill flashback cruncher. Thank you for those who are watching. If you'd like to subscribe, there's a button down in the corner. I'll see you later.